This Blackout Fighting Championship matchup was brought to you by Clinch Custom Mouth Guards. Check them out online at getclinched.com. Cameraman just told me amazing matchups tonight. I'm pretty excited, man. Chris over here getting a big head. I like to toot my own horn on every once oh my in a gosh. while. I'm going to have to settle a little bit over the other way because it's getting too big. <laughs> <laughs> I just love great fights, man. Yeah, man, I know That's what you I mean, care brother. About. And you've been in it. You've been in commentating and, you know, covering MMA long enough before you started mat matching. You know who's who and who's at what level. Exactly. And that's why you do so well because you got a general idea of two years I've of been to every so. single – I mean, I, I'd say almost every promotion in the area – have contacts in every promotion in the area. And I just, I love fighting. I love MMA. I love combat sports altogether. Yep. Speaking of combat sports coming up, Blackout Fighting Championships and Kansas City Fighting Alliance is going to come together to do a huge grappling tournament in Kansas City. I mean, it's it's going to be huge. What, do we have a set date on that yet? Or we uh, don't have a set date, but we'll be talking with uh, James Kraus and Joe Wooster probably tonight or maybe tomorrow about it. But. Yeah, it's going to happen, and it's going to be huge, and we, we plan on making it a big spectacle, man. We plan on making it like a big, big grappling tournament. I'm, I'm, I'm all about that, man. You, you know, know me. Big lights, you know. I mean, we just want to make it big and, and make it fun. We, I, we've seen grappling tournaments. They're just kind of thrown together. Uh, yes. Yeah, I know what you and mean. We want something good, man, under the big lights, you know. I'm down. The winners win big belts, you know. that That's the type of stuff we want to see. Yep. Steven Graham. Wow. And he has packed the house here tonight. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Definitely know who the favorite is. Yep. KCBJJ. A lot of great jiu-jitsu guys up there. I actually went against a couple in an uh, Army tournament. So I beat them, but went against them. And here we go. Well, I'm, I'm excited, man. Yep. I'm ready to see if Corey has what it takes, man, really. You know, it, it all depends on who shows up mentally. I know, he changed, I know he changed his training up, man, and he's been working hard, man. I know yep. that for sure. I think he's been training with Jiu-Jitsu with Cousins, Jiu-Jitsu at Springfield, Missouri, Prince, uh, Prince Camp and actually, all that out there. Yeah, he went, actually went back to St. Roberts and trained with, uh, I think it's Combate Extreme. I yeah, Extreme Combatives with okay. uh, Enrique Watson. Exactly. Yep. Outstanding. Let's right, see. Let's see. Makes a shot there. Oh, wow. Mm, good exchange. Corey not turning his head. He got need. He got need on the way in. Yeah, he did. Nice takedown. Not, He's sticking I don't know, his neck man. out there, though. Oh, I that's, think that's, that's pretty tight. That's, that's probably it. That's pretty tight. Oh, you got He's that game. got it. He's got it, man. It's over. It's tapping. Yep, it's over. Steven Graham, he's too much, man. He's just really, really, really skilled, I believe man. I called that, didn't I? Yeah. Yep. He tapped. He tapped. Corey, Corey's arguing he tapped. Yeah, I... I've never seen somebody jump over the cage and then get out. Yeah, he's but, going to, uh, he's going to, you know... Going to his crowd, man. I love it. Yeah. Go to, oh, he went to his mom or grandma. I'm not sure who. But, uh, Corey, you can't you can't argue, man. You tapped out. I promise. Yeah. And plus, he can't even take it up with the ref. It goes with the sanctioning body. It yeah. doesn't have to, nothing to do with Travis or Dusty or the ref. It, it goes way higher than that, you know. And that's what I hate when people argue about a call and they want to go straight to the promoter or straight to the ref. It's not up to them. He tapped. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I'm I, the first one that will defend it if he did it. Yeah. Trust me. Yep. I want to turn the mic off and say, you tapped out, but, you know, I'm not going to. But I know he did. He has nothing to be worried about. I mean, Corey just needs to just stop arguing. It's, I mean, that, he Understand lost to a tough he guy. Fought one of the best guys. Uh, okay. Exactly, and yeah. he just needs to take it as a learning experience. You know, don't shoot in with your neck out like that. Jiu-Jitsu guys will scoop it up and will choke corner, you out. His corner, Aaron Jones, is telling you, you tap, man. Yeah, they, they, all, they all know he tapped, you know. I mean, there's no hiding it. There's no... Mike England's been doing a great job tonight. So There's no reason to argue. Yeah, exactly. Even if he wasn't going to tap, he was going to go to sleep, and 
This is amateur, so you don't want to see nah, that happen. You don't want that suspension on your record, you know? You know, sometimes I wish I could be a higher weight class. That way I could just go up and fight certain people for fun. Right. Not against anybody, but <laughs> if I, I've never called nobody out. But if I ever do, it's because I want to challenge myself. People right. shouldn't take it personally. <laughs> Good sportsmanship here. All right. He's the hometown guy for sure, man. He is, man. He Trying to get Jason Bircher back in the cage for a picture. <laughs> well, where'd he go? There he is. Oh, not j there. Never mind. Jason Bircher's sitting right in front of me. I'm retarded. <laughs> Graham, man, he's a really hard worker, man. Uh, he trains at Grindhouse with James Krause. Yep. Trains at KCBJ. This Blackout Fighting Championship matchup was brought to you by Kenny Thomas, Olathe, Toyota, and Scion. Check him out online at olathetoyota.com.